Welcome to Carly Tackles her new Bosch miter saw. I'm Carly and this is my new miter saw. I bought the saw just a few days ago and wanted to make a video of walking you through how to set it up from a box. This is the Bosch 10 inch miter saw, model number CM10GD. To get started, I went ahead and opened up the box, lifted out the miter saw and placed it on my rigid frame. I will say I love this rigid frame. I had it connected to my old saw. It is great for portability and rolling around your saws to new locations. Now I will warn you, this saw weighs a little bit over 60 pounds and on the heavier side of the other saws that I was shopping for, but what it offered me in return was definitely worth the wait. However, first lifting it out of the box did take a little bit more muscle. I'm gonna walk you through how to assemble the loose parts that didn't come pre-installed on the saw. To start, I am gonna cut the zip tie to get it out of my way. The next thing I'm gonna do is attach the bevel lever. Now the manual that came with the saw gives great illustrations of the next steps of what to do. So in your kit, you'll have a lever, two washers, a nut, and a little socket adapter. Now one thing that's not in the packet that's currently in your saw is the Allen wrench or hex bolt. And this is located back here. And I'll show you closer up when it comes time to put it away. So we're gonna grab this right out and start connecting our bevel level. First thing is to place the larger washer Next is the lever. Now the instructions say to make sure that this is horizontal with your beam. The other thing is you'll notice that there is kind of more of a flat shape, it's not fully round. The lever that I'm connecting to also has flat sides. So it should line up perfectly when putting it on. Next, the small washer. and the nut. The instructions say to take your Allen wrench or hex bolt, stick it through the holes, and that will give you your turning motion. And we're gonna tighten this up. All right, our lever is now on. Next step is to install the knob. So we're going to run the knob through this hole. Okay, we're running the knob through the hole. And it says to push until it can't go anymore. Then to make 10 resolutions until it's locked. Once locked, it's tight. If you want to release the lever, turn it a half a turn back, and now we're loose. Now that we're done assembling those parts, we can put our hex key back. And I did promise I would show you where you can find that. So in the back here, there's a little notch where it just slides right in, and the other end fits snugly in this hole. And then you always have your hex key available. Now one thing I would like to call out on this hex key is you notice one end's bigger than the other. That's why you have two hex keys in one, so you don't need two tools, so that's kind of nice. Put that right in there. Now another part that comes with your saw is a clamp. Now this clamp, clamp can be placed on either side of your saw, but for purposes here, it just slides right in. And you can loosen it a lot when you first get it, and this will help clamp a board in so it doesn't move on you. This way you can keep your hands away from the blade. You can place this on either side. And if you're doing a board where you didn't want to use it, it's just a simple lift up and remove. The last part to assemble is your dust collection bag. Now what's one of the cool features that I really liked about this Bosch is that we have this elbow here that allows you to move your dust bag or connect a vacuum out of your way. There's some notches on the very top that line up to this little nub right here. 
put it in, and turn it. Now you have a dust bag. I will be honest, I did see some of the reviews before that this uh, does have a little trouble with dust collection. It'll pile up right back here. When you're ready to move your saw to make minor cuts, for example, 45 degree angle, you can take your pointer finger or your middle finger or both and pull up on this red lever. From there, you just slide to the left or slide to the right until you find the degree in which you'd like to cut. So if I wanted a 45, I would go to the 45 and release. Now there are some positive stops, meaning the saw actually helps you stop on most common degrees, which is a really nice feature. When you stop, you still need to tighten the knob. You do not want to make any cuts with this thing being loose. I want to show you how this works. So right now I am on the left hand side, which this knob indicates zero to left. If I want to go to the right, I need to push the saw up. And notice I can't push it anymore because I only have zero to 45 left. If I want to go to the right, tilt the saw a little bit to the left, turn the knob, and now I can go this way. Now there is a setting, I don't know if you can see it, that says max bevel, angle 47. I would need to move my fences out of the way, which is a nice easy adjustment, to be able to get it to go that extra distance. And I need to turn my dial down here. So to set this back up, you just lift. If you're good with your current position, say right now I'm at zero according to my level, and I want that to stay, you do need to tighten this bevel so your saw does not move. And now the whole thing moves if I shake it. So now we're secured. Now for the fun part, let's cut some wood. On the starting trigger, there is a little safety function where you have to slide with your thumb or finger, left or right, it can go either way, before pulling the trigger. So let's get to it. Darn good. Now let's try a miter cut. Loosen my knob, pull up with your two fingers, slide, let's do a 30 degree, slide your marker to the 30 degree, and let's tighten it down, and let's make another cut. Notice hands. With the help of the clamp, I do not need them anywhere near the saw. All right, now let's do a bevel cut. And that is our smooth 45 degree angle cut. Thanks for watching. I hope this video gives you the confidence that you need to go out there and buy that miter saw and take your projects to the next level. If you enjoyed watching, please give this video a thumbs up and like it. If you'd like to see more videos from me, please subscribe to my channel, Carly Tackles Do-It-Yourself Projects, Tools and Gadgets, Tips and Tricks. Thanks for joining.